get tired. For some reason, there was a lot of emails to answer today. Uh, how do you like this Funkadelic shirt? Does it look like shit in it? <laughs> Someone could say, I hate your shirt. Usually they say they hate my face or something like that. Um, five different types of photographers. Whichever one you are, as long as you're happy doing it and you expand your skills in that arena, that's perfectly fine. Um, enthusiast, hobbyist, professional photographer, which is not really that important. People think, oh, it's a professional. It's like, that doesn't mean anything. I'll explain that shortly, very shortly. Uh, expert uh, slash artist photographer. And the rarest of photographers is a, a professional expert or professional uh, artist a photographer. That's definitely the most rare. Um, a lot of photography, too. Um, some of these, I think the most recent high-paid uh, image was a, a picture of an ugly potato, and it wasn't even lit that well. Um, a lot of photography, so far as what comes across, is trendy and artsy, and of course it moves in fads, just like everything does, even in uh, paintings. I mean, there's an impressionistic movement, and there's an abstract movement, and, you know, photography, unfortunately, re revolves around, like, certain cult personalities, is the cult of personality. It's like, um, if you were like, if you were like a long-legged chick with uh, blonde dreadlocks, and uh, your story was, is that you uh, spent the last year bicycling throughout the, uh, uh, Sahara Desert, as if that would ever happen. <laughs> and these are the pictures. You're like, oh my God, you're a real artist. You start. Um, there is a lot of cult of personality. You know, you could be one of the best photographers on earth, but if people think you're an asshole, um, then uh, you know you're never going to get anywhere. Even if your work is better than somebody who's a shitty photographer but has like a personality of gold. So that's one of the really nasty, shitty sides of photography. And it's absolutely uh, unarguable that that's the case. But anyway, the five types of photographers. Enthusiasts, eh, somebody buys a point-and-shoot or even a DSLR camera. You know, they enjoy photography and they take it on vacation. and uh, You know, they're basically only shooting JPEGs. We know what an enthusiast is, right? Hobbyist photographer. Someone, it is their hobby. Kind of like a stamp collector. It's their hobby. It's not their profession. Um, and there might be like 10 people in the world that have a profession as stamp collectors and sellers. Maybe a few more than that. Hobbyist photographer. Uh, someone who's always studying. When they have free time, they love to go out and shoot. They get in together in like photography clubs and, you know, they talk shit about cameras and lenses. We know what a hobbyist photographer is. Professional photographer doesn't really mean shit. Um, a technic like a Sears photographer. It, technically, the woman that works at the DMV that takes mug shots of your ugly ass is a professional, because her profession is taking pictures. It's like, oh, wouldn't it be great to be a professional? There's nothing great about being a professional photographer. Um, some of the most lackluster dumbasses on earth, you know, are professional working photographers. You know, they... Well, I was about to say something I better not say. <laughs> I was going to say something like a bunch of them contacting me for information. Um, the Sears photographer. You know what a Sears photographer does? Is someone who never moves his lights or his camera. You know, he's got four or five backgrounds. And, <laughs> you know, he never, you know, he, the, the camera never moves. It's like, you sit in one spot, the camera is like glued to the floor. That's a professional photographer, technically. Um, photography is a really broad subject. It's all—it's exactly like computer, computers as well. Because I'm always always the hardware guru. In the computers, you have the people that are experts in firmware, people are experts in software, people are experts in hardware, people are experts in networking, and you know you have all these different. And photography is really just like that. So you could, um, and we used to have these professional photographers, and they were actually expert artists, and that's the next class of people. So the fourth class above professional is an expert slash uh, artist. But that doesn't mean they know jack shit about photography in general. I mean, some of these people would come to our photography school, and we had a museum of uh, photography where uh, works would be displayed. Uh, obviously, their work was uh, par excellence. It was exquisite photography, exquisite. They had one or two or three lenses, a few cameras back in the days of film, you know, 
they didn't know that much, but what they had they used really well. Um, I was about to make a really dirty joke, but I'm not going to. It involves something about a little person with a tiny hot, do a tiny hot dog, and supposedly he ended up getting like 60 women pregnant. And in other words, in other words, he, there wasn't much there to work with, but what he had, he used really well. That was, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> and these people were like that, and that's fine, you know. Um, some of them were natural light shooters only. Some of them basically only worked with speed lights and strobes. They didn't like natural light, you know. So photography is extremely variegated. Um, extremely variegated. The rarest type of uh, photographer is the professional expert photographer. And that is someone who started out as a hardcore working expert in the field and arena of photography, whatever that was, and they expanded out to become a, uh, a uh, master of uh, the artwork and defining where uh, shading and uh, midtones and speculars should fall. You know, they, they learned how to use the light meter. They expanded their skills with uh, strobes, studio strobes, uh, octaboxes, soft boxes, uh, scrims, and uh, and uh, uh, diffusions, uh, diffusion uh, screens, and uh, uh, honeycomb grids uh, for... Because uh, it's not just about lighting. It's about lighting control. Um, it's like having all the firepower in the world, but if you can't accurately determine where it goes, it's kind of like back in the days of World War One and World War Two. We dumped, you know, just as an example, we dumped tons of munitions on enemy countries, um, but they were stupid. And now we, uh, just as an example, you know, we use a lot less, but they're GPS and laser guided. So. The same analogy applies in photography. People are like, well, I just need a bunch of lighting. You know, that'll fix it. No, that's not the case. It's about lighting control. Also, where to place it for the mood and the composition that you want. So that's the rarest class. So we have five different classes of photographers. The enthusiast. That's the guy that keeps takes his camera out of the closet, you know, a couple times a year. Maybe a few or four, four or five, whatever. The hobbyist, someone that's, you know, it is their hobby. You know, they're really into it, like a stamp collector, for example. You know, they want to know stuff, and they're looking for the latest and greatest this. Mostly they're gear sluts. They do enjoy photography a lot sometimes. Some of them are more gear sluts, and some of them are more, um, you know, just true uh, enthusiasts that love getting together in photography clubs and stuff. And then the professional photographer. And a professional, just like a working stiff and wedding photography. Um, working stiff at Sears. Like I said, professional photographer does not mean shit. It doesn't mean you're any good either. You know? It doesn't. It's like, you know, working professional. It's like, well, most of your income comes from photography. Yeah, so what? That doesn't mean he's a good photographer. I know a lot of professional photographers. I do. And <laughs> their work's no good. But they are, prof they are by definition, professional photographers. So when people say the word professional photographer, I go, ha, 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 yeah. No. That's okay to be one if that's what you want to be. But it's certainly not like, uh, you know, it's like uh, saying uh, someone is, it's like, well, you're a manager of a grocery store. It's like, yeah, but it's a grocery store. You know, you're the boss. It's like, yeah, boss of what? The Quickie Mart? You know, the 7 Eleven? It's the boss. Boss of what? You know, the local ice cream, Baskin Robbins? Mmm, that reminds me. I wish I had a big some ice cream right now. Um, so anyway, there's the five classes of photographers. Why does nobody talk about this sort of stuff? Um, obviously, the dividing line is uh, is uh, vague and it is scattered, and some people will debate where that line falls. But really, I've quite accurately defined it. So anyway, I thought that's something that should be talked about. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, just drop a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy. Okay? Bye.